circuitous reunion of the Army's renowned 509. The Rocky Day Bomb is not all the 509 was famous for. For more than six hours in July of 1947, the town of Roswell was known as the flying saucer capital of the world. <laughs> Debris recovered from a crash site in the desert was originally identified by Army Intelligence Officer Major Jesse Marcel as seen from a flying saucer, much to the embarrassment of the Army, and in particular, Major Marcel, shown here holding what turned out to be a piece of aluminum foil. Could I talk to you a little bit later? Yeah, you can be at the barbecue, right? No, I mean alone. <laughs> Let it go, Jess. Local rancher just brought in a whole lot of, I don't know what you'd call it. Some, you know, top secret. This thing was big. Let's just suppose Los Alamos or White Sands launched some ultra-experimental plane, rocket, whatever. Nobody's found anything because nobody's out looking. And that means this ain't ours. Sorry. Hey, Bob, here comes Sheriff Wilcox. See if he can get us in. Open the gate. No, sir. What do you mean, no? I'm the sheriff of this here county. I'll go where I damn well please. We have our orders. Whose orders? Colonel Blanchard, sir. What kind of a goddamn idiot released this nonsense? Uh, no disrespect intended, sir, but if you guys know something that we don't, you should have told us. We have some reporters coming. We'll show them the debris that the rancher found. You will keep your mouth shut, and I will field all questions. What's this? This is what you found? No. Uh, sir, this is, uh, well, this is a weather balloon. No, this is Warren Officer Irving Newton, the weather officer at Fort Worth. Uh, tell us, what's your opinion? It's a weather balloon, quite frankly. <laughs> bit surprised that someone with Major Marcel's experience didn't recognize it for what it was. According to General Ramey, Major Marcel should have realized that what the rancher had found was in fact nothing but a weather balloon. So if I'm the fall guy on this, I want to know what I'm the fall guy for. And I'll be a good soldier. Let me see a report, Sherman. I don't know what you're talking about. If it's a weather balloon, tell me how come Brazel's ranch was all cordoned off when we got there. And if it was a weather balloon, how could Marcel not recognize it when the damn things are sent up by the 509 twice a day from that rooftop across the street? I'm a private goddamn citizen, you understand me? I'll tell you something else. I'm gonna write my congressman. You bet your sweet ass I'm gonna write my congressman. Where's it say thing in the Bill of Rights about kidnapping private citizens off the street, huh? Why don't you show me that amendment? Show me that page number, man. I know what I saw. I held up my goddamn hands. They said the material was a weather balloon. Well, how in the hell does a weather balloon affect our national security? Off the record. What's the truth? I'll tell you the truth. You know, sometimes folks, they talk about little green men. Well, they ain't green. Come on, Lewis. Jesse, I can't tell you anything more. The Army's worked very hard to bury this. And I saw the bodies, too. Bodies. Five or six of them. That was a monkey with all of its hair singed off, his head swollen up like a melon from decompression. No eyes. They were popped out, leaving other these black holes. You saw the bodies. You think they were monkeys? He wasn't alive. It was alive. What happened here is merely the tip of the iceberg. You see, physicists now speculate that it's unlikely these things fly vast distances from other solar systems. You see, there may not be just one universe. I'm like, then what did I see out there in that field? Oh, that. Why, that was a weather balloon. 